It's one thing to intellectually consider the neurological effects of CTE, but it's altogether different to witness the symptoms cripple a giant like Brian and devastate his family. With training camp just weeks away, I'm traveling back to Baltimore with Eugene to get his thoughts on taking repeated blows to the head for another 16 games. Come on out. Hey. Oh, there's a smile. Hi. Hey, baby. Oh. She's like, hi, who are hi, you? Hi, Sonia, how are you? Just Just reaching out, yeah. reaching out for you. <laughs> I'm Krishna. She likes you, that means you're cool. <laughs> so Eugene, what was it like meeting Brian and his family? It was scary to hear his story and recognize that, okay, this is a position that I could be in. Um, I've had concussions too. Sometimes I had difficulty understanding where I was, who I was. Who couldn't, you were. Yeah, couldn't remember anything. It's terrifying. You gotta think, if there was another baby here and they were both like suited up playing ball, playing baby ball here, and essentially the heads will collide. And I hold my kid here and I'm just like, ah, like I know this now and I didn't know it before. Mm -hmm. Is it worth continuing to potentially give myself early brain damage? Yeah. I know. You have different owners of teams uh, openly say that it's ridiculous that we're linking CTE and football, that mm. our game is safe. It's not. <laughs> 